Sunday of the 2021 NFL season as the Atlanta Falcons host the Philadelphia Eagles. Which early bird will get the word? Find out next. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Menu narration option is set to off. Menu narration option is set to off. Touchdowns each and every year has won an MVP, taken his team to the Super Bowl. You're talking about a guy who might be finished, but he still has gas left in the tank. Big right arm, great leader, the face of his franchise. Yeah, he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. And this early in the season. If there's any silver lining at all, you're hoping you can get these guys back and now you'll play well down the stretch with them. But what you're also hoping is that the guys who have to play for them, the next man up mentality kicks in and those guys take care of business. Maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think he might have had it right. He wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield. And it almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. So here come the Eagles for their initial possession of the game. They'll be led by a three-time Pro Bowler in his fifth season. It's Deshaun Watson. And he's exactly the man you want control of your offense. Excellent arm, good zip on the ball, not afraid to use his legs when he needs to. And what he's excelled at doing is making plays when the full screen isn't available or when the pressure's about to get to him. A nice run there by Sanders on first down as he'll wind up with a gain of about seven before he's brought down. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now it's Watson. This is complete to Watkins on a slam. This has to go 
Go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving up. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job standing up at the places and not allowing any lanes to open up. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Big time pickup for them, and now, I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone, because the closer you get to the end zone, the field gets condensed. It makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone, and the down and distance count. But Charles, you know, for this offense, we take a look at the draft class here. They were looking for a playmaker, and they found one on the outside. And the way teams are throwing the football nowadays, you can't afford to skip to the wide receiver position on them. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith. His first NFL reception goes for six. And the Eagles are on the board here first in the season opener. But hard to believe that arm strength was a knock on Deshaun Watson coming out of Clemson, but he showed what he's got there. And you'd think on third down, they'd just be looking for something right beyond the sticks. And I think they caught the defense flat-footed as a result because they decided they were going to take a shot right there, and it ended up being a big play. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. They went three and out on their first drive of the new season. Not an ideal beginning as they start drive number two, first and ten. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field, D. Come on, let's go, D. Won't be a long time. They're going to start to drive here on the ground with Patterson. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Oh, and slow oh, down oh, and relax a little bit oh, after they escape up the score. From the gun on third down, Ryan. That's Cordero Patterson hauling it in. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. So here's a first and ten at the 38. 57 to Mike. 57 to Mike. Now it's Ryan. He completes this to Russell Gage. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. On second down now, it's Patterson. And a lot of talent on this Eagle defense, and you've seen it on these last two plays, both losses. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. Now Ryan. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. And as we all remember, 2020, not the greatest of years for the Eagles as a whole, but you certainly can't pin it on their pass rush. They were absolutely terrific throughout the season. 49 sacks as a unit, the third highest total in the NFL, 
much of it generated by their front four. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Back to throw, Watson. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. They'll run, it's Sanders. Sanders, a first down, still going. And they will finally get him down, but not before he takes us to the Falcons' 35-yard line. 62 yards for him on the ground in his first quarter. He has been tremendous to start the new year. So that run there, yeah, I don't know if it's overstating things to call it a thing of beauty, but in terms of football plays, that's as good as you're going to see. And what I really enjoyed about that run and what made it so impressive to me was how he improvised along the way. Sometimes on a big play, you just get the football and you take off in a straight line and go. But this time, how about the artistry of that play? That looked a little bit like a Picasso to me. From the gun, here's Watson. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being run down second and right in the yard. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL. Being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up when they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Oh, man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in. But somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a game. Sanders is into the end zone for an eagle touchdown. No CD, there didn't seem to be much resistance there down near the goal line. Yeah, partner, from what I saw there, not a real good job of matching up defensively because to me, they looked like they were just in their base 3-4 package. You need bigger bodies in there in a goal line type situation. The 3-4 five between the 20s, but not down here when you're guarding your end zone. Elliott now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. That time, a six-play drive. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. Let's go! Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains. That means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. On third and one, Ryan. Oh, he's got his tight end pitch complete. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. On second down, it's Patterson. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad. Don't that's not that. feel pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Play action, Ryan. 
And he is going to go down. They sack him on the final play of the first quarter. 14-0 to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta, second quarter action. The Falcons with the football. The Falcons on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and eight. From the shotgun, Ryan. And that is incomplete. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively, or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big time spark somewhere, but it's not gonna come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. This is taken around the 12. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So the special teams penalty costs some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. Here's Sanders, and just not much to be had there. One yard out to the 10. So CD, you have big changes for 2021. Of course, last year we had the expansion from six to seven teams in each conference making the playoffs. This year, the headline, the addition of a 17th regular season game. What did you think when you heard the news that this was happening? Well, my first thought, partner, was finally, because we've heard about a 17th game coming for a long time, and now here it is. So the beautiful part about all of it is that 17th game is going to be like these, these interdivision, interconference type games that are going to match up and play out over a four-year period. And that's kind of cool. And I was looking forward to seeing some of the matchups that were going to come out of that for that 17th game. And could that be the game that decides a bunch of division titles? And for the Falcons, five men in the secondary now on third. To throw is Watson. Looking here for Smith downfield. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. Call that a 45-yard punt, just two yards there on the return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and ten. Atlanta regains possession of the football. So far, they've had three drives, three punts. Not good. Not good indeed because you've got to have something to show for being out on the field. Now, sometimes if you have a game where neither side has scored, three punts isn't a bad thing. But when you're trying to set the pace, get up on top in a game, you've got to show better offense and find a way to put some points on the board. From the 31, Ryan. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Javon Hargrave busting through to get him for a loss of six. So the sack pushes him back and now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. Here's Ryan. And he's got it to Patterson complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. These guys have definitely been out late in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now flags come flying in. One of the Falcons moved early. Ball start. And that'll set him back five. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Now it's Ryan. He's going to have the hook up to Gage. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play call should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Let's go, D Titan. 57 to Ryan. 
Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Patterson. That catch good for only a couple. They should have got more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. To throw again on second down, Ryan. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Again, Ryan. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. And this score will stay right where it is. NFL kickers nowadays, they make things look so easy because normally from this range, about two out of three. And this is not an easy kick. Yeah, 20 years ago, you get where he was in that 50 range, maybe a little over. And it's a big kick, but now we just, if they would have been chirping, like, whoa, what happened? And that's that's what we have here. Yeah, you're right. 20 years ago, we were saying run some more plays and get closer. Now we think they're definitely within range, and you're exactly right. But it comes up short. There has to be something that went wrong because they have plenty of leg. A uh, second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Under pressure now, Watson, and down he goes. Coming in to drop it for a loss of eight, and it also brings up fourth. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. It's a 45-yard punt, just a one-yard return. Go. And the Falcons will get it first and ten from deep in their own territory. It's player spotlight time, and we focus that spotlight on the quarterback, Matt Ryan. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with a quarterback on the ground so much. Well, he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. Kyle Pitts out of Florida was the fourth overall pick in the 2021 draft. The highest a tight end has ever been taken. A lot of people thought he was the best player in the draft as well. Wearing number eight, he's a matchup nightmare for any defense. Good grab there for a first down. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Ryan to throw. Got a man. That's Richie James. And he'll have it past midfield. Almost to the 30 before being taken down. Time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Play action. It's Ryan. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. From the gun, it's Ryan. Got a man, it's Patterson complete. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And this one is right now. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. So from an offensive 
Johnson perspective, at least able to get on the board here right in front of the two-minute warning. Yeah, now it's time to talk about complimentary football, isn't it? Because if the defense can force a three and out, there could be enough time on the clock that they can get the ball back for their offensive guys and maybe put some more points on the board before they have. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt. Oh, he put it on the carpet. A foul. And the Falcons grab it. And this is going to be brought back. It's a scoop and scoop.
Johnson for a loss of eight. What great push up front to try again after the sack. Watson. Throw left side complete. That's Sanders. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Throwing on third down, Watson. And that is incomplete. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively. The back of the receivers on third down. And it's a quarterback. All you can do is just walk one toward the bench. Not too close, mind you. And live to pump the football. The Eagles send out their...
as he's on to punt for Philadelphia. Now on fourth down on is the punt team sending this one away. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. out there for their next drive and they may just be content to take this three-point lead and head into the locker room and he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll get started up at FedEx Field in our nation's capital. And it is the Chargers who have the lead in that one. Justin Herbert with a touchdown pass. From there, we head over to Detroit. Check on the Lions at home, Ford Field. And they trail in that one as it's the visiting 49ers who are out in front. The 49ers looking for the win on the road in week one. Lastly, we head to the Gulf Coast and check on the Bucks at home in Tampa. And they were losers in their ball game to the visiting Dallas Cowboys. Dak Prescott, four touchdown passes in the victory. Time now for a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Eagles. And they weren't able to get a whole lot done throwing the football. That'll likely be a big key if they want to turn things around in the second half. Meanwhile, for the Falcons, they were even better throwing the football. Lots of open receivers to choose from, and you can bet that'll continue to be a focus in the second half. It's a new season, so both of these coaching staffs likely making plenty of adjustments after that first half of football. So for the call of the second half here in week one, we go back to Brandon and Charles. Okay, coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter. What's been a tight contest so far. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they trail here to begin the second half. What's going to be a key for them to get back in the game? I think they're right there, and I think this game is still up for the taking for them because we always talk about turnovers. They had two of them in the first half, and once you start talking about if you have three, four, or five, you know it's beyond difficult to try and win a football game with that. Those have to be eliminated. If they take care of the ball, they still got a shot. From the 22, Watson. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. So first and ten now from the 30. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, Seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. A shotgun snap for Watson. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jack Kaminsky. And it goes a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop it. I need something special here. And long after that sack, what does Watson have in his arsenal? Side of midfield before going out of bounds. Well, 
that is a running back who is not about to go down easily. He fought his way through the contact until the seas opened up for him. On first and ten, it's Ryan. And he fires one that's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take over at their own 41. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. So tough running, but it only gets him to the 45. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Now it's Watson. Smith catches left side. Watson on first down, sliding out of the pocket. The ball comes out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Second time he's fumbled in this game. Fortunate for him, this one goes out of bounds. And the key for him now is how much equity have you built up with your coaching staff? How much equity have you built up with your team to continue to get opportunities? Fortunate that one went out of bounds, saved him from a turnover. Now he's going to throw deep back over the middle. And a big turnover there as his guys will give the football back. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Patterson on the carry. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, you stand up and the going gets tough in here. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. <laughs> Got to keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. It's a loss of two. This is our second and 12. It's the 32-yard line. Once more, they turn to Patterson. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. On third down, Ryan. He finds his man complete. It's Patterson. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful they about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. You want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Let's get it.
of the gun. Watson rolling to his left. Got some room at the 30. And he'll get this all the way up to the 42-yard line. But to me, this leads to the question, do you admire the way he puts his body out there all the time, or do you think he should protect himself a little bit more? <laughs> well, he's been on the ground several times with all those sacks that he's taken. So, I don't know, I kind of admire him not sliding down there, don't you? I'm with you on that one. The meter definitely leads towards admiration. 103 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in the season opener. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They'll go again with Sanders. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's 32. They'll try to run for it with Sanders. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down of the yard. The Eagles send out their punter now. They'll boot it away from about his 35. And now on fourth and one, it's a fake. And the gamble pays off. They get the first. And high fives on the run on that sideline. It's a first down as they wind up getting 11 on the fake punt. First down, Sanders. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this game? Those two windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. From the red zone now, Watson dancing to his left. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going Here we go. Here we go. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have something about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too. But I think the ball's out, and this is going to kick out of bounds. Boy, a fortunate bounce or two there. They'll keep possession back inside the 10-yard line. On second and goal. Watson escaping the pressure right. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Deshaun Watson taking it in from seven yards away. And once again, the Eagles are back out in front. Defensively by now, you know his ability. You know he has it in him to take off and run. Yeah, because they knew coming into this game, but we've already seen examples in this contest that he can run the football. I think they're going to examine different ways to rush him now. Is it, are they going to do it with different lanes? Are they going to use a spot? Do they have to come up with options? Because right now, he's hurting them. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on E. Sports. Elliot now to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here are the Falcons as their offense heads back onto the field. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. They'll run on first down. Patterson. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be cold bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Meanwhile, Lions throw on target to James. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner. We watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not 
just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. I'll tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. On first down. It's Patterson, and he's going to take it down to about the 35 here. 46 yards on the ground for him so far. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. On the carry, here's Smith. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. A third and run, it seems natural to just turn it hand into the biggest guy you have in the backfield. But usually, he's not the primary runner. So for the defense, they're often keying on the running back because he's the guy who gets the ball more often. And the fullback is the blocker. The touchdown, Falcons! after the big play inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10 on the carry it's Olison and he stopped immediately there no gain on the play it'll be second down as usual the hallmark of a good run defense linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage absolutely nowhere to run there so after the run for no gain here's second and 10 here's Patterson 
And here he'll get it down to the seven. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. Ryan. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. So decision time now, because a field goal keeps it a one-score game. What are you thinking? Well, I'm looking at the down and distance, and that's where the issue comes in. It's not short enough that it's a no-brainer. You go for it. You have to analyze this one to me. You take the field goal, take the point. I don't think you want to risk coming away with nothing. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin the next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball when the pitcher did it. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. And he takes this thing way down into Atlanta territory. A big play there for Philly. But he's been doing this for a lot of years, and the arm strength still there, and he showed it off on that one. And that's how you start a drive, because you know they had this play in their back pocket, waiting for the right time to unleash it. And boy, did they pick the right opportunity. Unleashed it big time, and that was also a big time throw. They'll run on first down. Sanders showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. Here's Watson. Flush to his right. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Five yard pickup leaves him with third and one. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, but that your eyes are in the proper place on the given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short game when he took off from it. But they pick it up on third and one on the quarterback sneak, and that's not easily done because there are extra bodies in there the defensive side. And he is over the line for another rushing touchdown. Is he a quarterback or is he a tailback? Deshaun Watson with now three week one touchdowns. And the Eagles are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Don't forget the extra point, it's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Boy, hard to ask for a better game thus far. 27 apiece is our score as the kicks away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. They run with Patterson. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it's a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. All right. easy to see. I notice that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Kyle Pitts, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, yeah, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try. All right, I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. On first down, Ryan. He's got his pass catching tight end. That's Pitts. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there. As that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. 
So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They've got it first and ten as they search for a go-ahead score. On first down, it's Patterson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. Patterson, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first and about the 21. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. Have to kick this field goal, don't you? No question about it. Look at the clock. Look at the situation. Kick the field goal. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Certainly some pressure here on Young Way Koo. This to take the lead here in the final minute. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. That's a time to reset here. It's a huge kick there. Gets in the lead. They've got to be careful that their celebrations are a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop. They're going to get out of here with a victory. So Deshaun Watson in the offense. Down by a field goal. 43 seconds to go. This is only week one of the season, folks. Get strapped in as they come up here first and ten. He's going to let it fly. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line drive. The throw taking the ball too far in second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Here's Watson. Into the hands of Sanders. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Five men in the secondary now for the Falcons on third down. To throw, Watson rolling to his right. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he will get out of bounds to stop the clock. It's a first down with the clock showing 26 seconds to play. Watson to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Jordan. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Watson. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on the field goal. Watson. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Desperation time. Watson on fourth down. Oh, no. He lost the football. And the Falcons grab it. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. That simply is a missed opportunity. They were in possession. They were taking the ball downfield and score. They got a chance to win the game. Instead, they cough it up. I don't think next week at practice is going to be a whole lot of fun for him. On the other side, no bigger time to force a turnover when you've got that small lead. Yeah, when you look at it from the, the offense's perspective, taking
taking care of the ball is so important. I know they're going to have all kind of ball security drills in practice all next week. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. It's going to be a great season. Oh, man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. So for Atlanta, it wasn't always pretty, but they do eke out the week one victory here by a field goal. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia...